io ricordo che eh, stavo studiando e eh, ho fatto giurisprudenza e io andai a casa di un, un giovane professore. I remember that in my years at the college I studied jurisprudence and I went to the home of a young professor where I saw a book about Klee on a table and I found a kind of soulmate. When I find these forms, these synthesis, it is like a code of language. It is like finding a person who speaks my same language in a very distant country. I found back this language. I didn't learn it. I found it back. Io ho ritrovato questo linguaggio. Non è che l'ho preso. L'ho ritrovato. E Picasso <laughs> è il gigante che domina tutta la storia dell'arte moderna contemporanea. Picasso is the giant that dominates all contemporary art. He fascinated me. He enchanted me because his synthetic language was also mine in some way. He reminded me of a form of artistic expression that was completely original. Eh, Modigliani, <laughs> lo adoro. I love Modigliani, I worship him. I enjoyed copying some portraits by Modigliani. In fact, when you copy a painting, you enter the author's thought. So I discovered why he had put a certain color, a certain line. It was as if at that moment he was talking to me and there was a communication between us. Era proprio che come in quel momento mi parlasse e ci fosse una comunicazione tra noi. There are paintings by Tina Saletnich like Seduction who are an anthology of the early 20th century art. We can find memories of Picasso echoes from futurism and uh, some far reflex from clay. But all is merged within a mature, deep language expressing the artist's personality, even parts unknown to the artist herself. Me lo indicò un mio collega d'università e disse che aveva imparato più da quel libro che <laughs> frequentando il liceo l'università. E in effetti è un libro One of my university colleagues pointed out to me and said that he had learned more from that book than from all over high school and university. In fact, it is a very cultured book. The author is a special person as his magnificent brother artist, and he painted too, always in a surreal way. And even the book is surreal in the sense that the author states that one enters life as one enters a house that was once inhabited and there are still traces of those who passed before. It is like being at a table when there are still dishes and glasses from the previous meal. And this is what we find, all the memories of the past, especially who lives in Rome and Italy. This house of life presents us many traces of the past, important, that still move us. Del passato, poi specialmente per noi che viviamo a Roma, in Italia, e questa casa la vita ci presenta tra, tantissime tracce del passato importanti e che ci commuovono ancora no?